I know you guys are like, oh, I would never stay in a hostel, but tell me this is not a hostel that you would stay at. One of the most legit pools I've ever seen. I think this is kind of a beach club. $10 for a pizza, what the fuck? And I have to say, this has been the best hostel I have ever stayed at. Guys, CM Reap is magnificent. And let me show you why. Because this is the first hall, the first hostel I arrived to, and look at the way it looks. Look at this masterpiece of an entrance, y'all. And it's literally, there's no one here, guys. I arrived at 4.30 and it was just as quiet. I thought it was because I arrived at 4.30, but look at this entrance, look at the quality, look at the detail of the architecture of this beautiful place. And it's a hostel, dude. This is insane. It's pretty cool, guys. But just wait till you see the rooms and the pool and the bar. It's incredible. I've already checked in, but let's cut to me checking in. Okay, guys, we're currently walking into our hostel here in Siem Reap. I just arrived from Penal Pan, and look at this magical place that I found. It's incredible. Oh, oh it's so cool in here. Wow, dude, oh my god, nobody. What? This is fancy, bro. This is the fanciest hostel in the world, dude. That's gonna be the title. The fanciest hostel in the world. Look, you even have a phone. You can, there's room service in the hostel, bro. What the hell? No way, that's insane. I got big lockers. Look at these. This has to be one of the biggest lockers I've ever seen. Wow. Incredible. So, okay, which one am I? Let's get to the name and tell me. I'll pick a bottom bunk. There's no one staying here. I'm by myself, so this is my bunk, baby. Whoa, look at this. Oh, shit. Bro, I know you guys are like, oh, I would never stay in a hostel, but tell me this is not a hostel that you would stay at. Look, it has a little breakfast table. A safe box. Wow, just the fact that you have lights is like a little studio room. Okay. Damn. Incredible guys. Nine dollars and ninety cents. And just wait till I show you the pool. We're gonna go check out the pool after this. Oh, wow, this is cool. You get to control the air con if you want, guys. So that's an amazing thing is that it has air conditioning blasting at all times. There's nothing wrong with this place, it's absolutely perfect. You got your beautiful towel, all of them are well set. This is five star service hostel. Insane. But this is not the best part. I'll show you guys the best part. Oh, the bathrooms, dude. Let's check out the bathrooms. Ooh. Oh, look at this, bro. Oh my god. This is so fancy. This is so fancy, dude. Wow, look. Showers. Whoa. Beautiful. These places I find just looking on online, dude. Okay guys, so this is the fourth floor where the pool's at, but you guys can see how beautiful this place is just from up here. They have a pool table as well. And you guys are gonna see, up there is the pool. But it has another little area, area here, which I'm not sure what it's for. It has this little hut. I'm sure they had something cool going on here before. But it has this little hut here, which is cute, untouched. I think this is all part of the upstairs part, which is the pool and the restaurant. Okay guys, so this, look at this. Uh, a little bar. I'm gonna come work here. So guys, this place is perfect to work. I don't have to go anywhere. I can just come to here and work. And this is the pool of the hostel. Insane. One of the most legit pools I've ever seen. I think this is kind of a beach club. Not, not a beach club, but like kind of a club. At night. I'm not sure, but I guess they don't have enough people staying. 
it's so quiet, really. It's so quiet for what it offers. No doubt this is a top tier hostel. Never see something like it. Look at the outside showers, this is sexy. Mmm. I have to check at the bar. Oh, these are 350. Okay, 350 for all this. Mm, the Khmer Hangover Remedy, interesting. Five dollars and fifty cents for fifty. Yeah, it's like kind of like the other hostels. Taco fish, three taco fish for five fifty. It's like the other hostels, but no, uh, yeah, five six dollars, ten dollars for a pizza. What the fuck? You see, sometimes the prices here are like, what the hell, dude? Usually, the way that I do it with these reviews about the hostels is that I'll stay here for a night and then. I'll get back to you the next day and tell you what I'd like and what I didn't like. But to tell you the truth, I don't think there's anything I would not like about this hostel. It's absolutely perfect, dude. I mean, yeah, hostels normally are like seven, eight dollars. So this was nine dollars and ninety cents, which is a dollar and ninety cents more than the most expensive that I paid before. But wow, what you get is insane and the, the service, the way that it looks. But either way, we'll see how it goes tonight and I'll let you guys know tomorrow how I feel. So I ended up staying at Twist for a total of four nights, guys. And I have to say, this has been the best hostel I have ever stayed at. It's, it's just a luxury hostel compared to the other ones I've stayed in. And the best part is that for the whole four nights that I stayed here, I had the whole room to myself. This place is massive. It's so big that um, they just situated me in a room where they, no one else was going to book. And so it's been completely amazing. What, when it comes to the Wi-Fi though, the Wi-Fi has struggled a little bit like it's been okay to surf the internet and stuff But if you need to upload videos or if you need to download stuff, it's not that strong Also, working wise and working areas, there's, there's tables and working areas everywhere But it really likes fans around the working area, so it gets really hot So personally, I don't stay here to work, but we are in a very, very central location of Siem Reap and we have tons of ca tons of cafes around so when it comes to finding somewhere to work there's plenty of cafes here to work and you won't have any issues but when it comes to the little details of this hostel it is spectacular just everything is a lot better quality than I've received from other places that I've stayed at for example like the towel the towel was very thick and nice and clean the showers were always clean they even have hair dryers um, not to mention the beauty that the aircon is blasting all day long and it has a control inside so you can control it bro I was chill in there it was always nice and the bed is so 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 comfortable to sleep in guys seriously this is like a luxury hotel to stay here um, that's how it felt like but if I had to rate this place guys I would have to say 9.75 because that's how great it is seriously even even if you want to stay here um, on a single room which i'm not sure how much it is i'll put it right here i'm gonna go ask someone it's just great centrally located guys for example uh, pub street which is the main street where all the pubs and the parties are at it's maybe like a three minute tuk tuk ride on my skateboard it takes me like five or six minutes so uh yeah dude this is an amazing place and normally when i come to a new city I want to stay at one place, I'll stay there for maybe two nights and then go somewhere else to create new content and test some stuff out. But I was so comfortable here that I just, I, I, I didn't want to move to it. This, is, this place is the bomb, dude. But yeah, that was my review of Twist. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Christian Rodriguez, bye.